folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Winnebago Winnie Drop 170S. This is a great, short, lightweight travel trailer. It weighs just over 2,800 pounds, which means it's easily towable by a smaller SUV like a Ford Escape. Let's go ahead and uh, work our way on the front here. We'll make our way around and then head on in. One of the first things you'll notice is this right here, which is your propane tank cover. Uh, nice and easy to access the tank. Just undo the thumb screw here, lift up the door, and that will give you access to your 20 pound tank. Behind that, you have rails for the battery box. You can see right down here, a place for your sewer hose. And coming up the front is black diamond plating. This diamond plating helps protect the front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by tow vehicles. Speaking of the front end, this fiberglass right here, this is great. This is one piece fiberglass from the front all the way up and coming back down the back side. A uh, couple big advantages to having one piece fiberglass roof. One, you have less chance for any kind of water penetration. Because you don't have seams going across, it's one less spot for water to get into. And two, because of the teardrop shape, water is naturally going to run to the front and back of the unit, again, where you have less seams. So that is very advantageous. One other thing I like to talk about on the Winnebago's is the frames. This is an upgraded frame, it's BAL Huck Bolt frame. Huck bolts have a lot of strength and it's easier to repair in case you ever do have any kind of damage. Also, the jacks on here, you can see stabilization jack on each of the four corners. They take a fraction of the turns. Watch how quick and easy this is to move these down. You know, most, most of the time you just be cranking, cranking, takes forever, your arm gets worn out. That's all it takes. You do that on all four corners, you're done. So very, very easy to set this unit up. Uh, take a look at the sidewalls. The other thing I love about Winnebago products are the quality of the sidewalls. You can see the luster and shine in here. This is the platinum exterior, but this is one of the best sidewalls in the industry. This is a true poor gel coat exterior. Uh, the closest thing I can compare that to is a bolt hull. The way that they're made is very similar in process, and you know that you can buff that and it will stay beautiful for the life of the boat. Same thing with the Winnebago towable products. If you look real close, you won't see any fibers in here like you do on a lot of the competition. So very, very uh, well built, great sidewalls. This coach is gonna, uh, is built to last and look great for a lifetime. Take a look right in here. Uh, so great storage up front. You can see right here, this was a tool I used for the jacks. This is for your awning. Uh, the awning on here is nice and easy too. You see it has a hook right there. All you have to do is use that tool, hook it up, then you can just turn it and it'll crank out. Same thing to go back in. Very, very easy awning. Underneath the awning, you have two speakers. Uh, that way if you wanna sit out here, jam out to some music, you can go ahead and do so. Now those speakers are connected to your multimedia center inside, however, it, it is Bluetooth capable. So that way if you wanna sit out here, uh, you can use your smartphone or tablet and you can rock out. Uh, if you need to plug anything else in, right there you are. You have an electrical outlet, you can plug in a cell phone, electric griddle, whatever else you need to. Make our way back a little bit further. One of the other things I'd like to talk about on the winning drop, um, you know, because it's built to be towed behind a smaller vehicle, it is low profile, so you only need one step to get in. And it's, uh, even though it's eight inches with your wheel wells, the box itself is only six and a half, uh, or eight foot rather, sorry, six and a half foot. The big advantage of that, of course, is that you don't need mirror extensions on most vehicles to be able to see around the sides. So that's really cool. As I mentioned, getting into the coach, very easy. Low profile, one step foldable easy grab handle here to ensure it is an easy entry. They not only do you have the big storage in the front, but take a look at this right here. You can see you have nice large storage area right in the back. Move around to the back side. Again, you can take a look, see that this is the one piece, how it just folds right down like that, which is awesome. As we come around to this side over here, detachable 30 amp power cord, black tank flush on there, which if you're not familiar with the black tank flush, what that does for you is instead of having to take a hose and dragging it through your whole travel trailer, sticking it down the toilet to wash out the black tank, with this you just take that same hose, hook it right up, black tank has sprayers built in and it will just rinse it out for you, making the process of breaking down camp that much easier. And take a look at this. Lightweight, as I said, uh, you know, in, in, uh, just over 2,800 pounds and you have a slide, so that is awesome. Built into the slide right there is your outside shower with both hot and cold access, so if you need to wash off your feet, wash your dog, whatever it may be, you can do that as well. 
but I know you're excited to get inside, so let's go take a look. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Winnebago Winnie Drop 170S. This particular model is in the Mamba interior. If you take a look at the nose of the RV, you'll see your queen size bed, plenty of room there, which is great. Windows on both sides as well, so you can get a cross breeze coming through. Up top, you have a shelf and a LED light there uh, in case you wanna do a little bit of light reading. So you make our way over to the side. This uh, opens up into the kitchen. Right here's our Dometic fridge, drop down ice box there. And you'll see that the controls are nice and easy right up top here. This unit does run off of both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Then up top, not only is this a microwave, this is a convection oven. I really like having a convection oven in a tra uh, trailer this size because that gives you more storage in your kitchen, which we'll see in a little while. Plus the convection cooks quicker and it's easier to clean. Now as we move over, uh, two burner cooktop here, and because we opted for the convection oven rather than a standard, that allows for two very large full extension drawers here underneath, plenty of room for all of the silverware, and then take a look at this. You have great storage right there underneath the sink as well. Speaking of the sink, single bowl, it does give you a sink top cover, it is cutting board quality. So if you want to flip this over, use it as a cutting board, you can certainly do so. Single bowl, you know, again, that's all you need in a travel trailer this size. You have a high rise faucet. Now, not a ton of prep space. You do have a little bit back here, but you know, at least being able to utilize this, you can swing the faucet out of the way. That does give you some to work with right here. Uh, electrical outlet in the back, in case you need to plug in a coffee maker, LED light here to brighten it up a little, and you have storage going across the top. Right back here is your TV, uh, Jensen TV. You have Jensen Electronics, both the Jensen TV as well as the Jensen Multimedia Center. The reason I bring that up is uh, Jensen products do cost a little bit more for the manufacturer to install, but they're definitely worth it. They're top of the line in the RV industry. They're built specifically for the RV industry. The reason is they build them to be able to withstand the shocks and vibrations from going down the road, as well as the temperature extremes from very hot to very cold. That way, season after season, your electronics will continue continue to work and it will be one less thing you have to worry about. Uh, the TV is on a swing arm mount, so if you want to watch it while cooking, or of course you can move it over to the dinette, the bed, whatever you want, but that way you get excellent viewing angle on there. Uh, and then as I mentioned, this is your multimedia center right here. Not only is this a radio and CD player, it's also a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it right in and it will show up on your TV, of course. Then you do have some extra storage right here along the top. Nice decorative glass on there, as you can see. LED light here underneath, and then your window right here. The reason I bring it up, I love having um, your uh, door side dinette because you know this is the view you want. You open this window up. This is where all the you know this is your campsite. This is where everything's happening. You don't want to stare out at your neighbor, you know. So when you're sitting here enjoying your morning cup of coffee, breakfast, OJ, whatever it may be, you can definitely uh, enjoy that view. So I love that they have that. Also, this table does drop down. It'll sit on these rails right here if you want to make a bed. That will give you some additional sleeping space. Then right along the back wall here, open this guy up. This is pretty cool. You got some extra storage right there. Uh, you know, if you want to use it for a pantry for quick access to go out the door, you can do that or really whatever else you want. Uh, but you know, I like again that they just went ahead and put that there. Then right here in the back is the bathroom. Um, one of the th other things I love about Winnebago products, I talk about every time, is the inside doors on the product. They are some of the best doors in the industry. Every time you uh, use them, they open, they shut, they're great. You know, I, I challenge you when you're out there and you're doing some RV shopping, you know, looking at all the other teardrops that are out there, go and open and close the doors inside. You'll pop open, they don't shut well. Not the case here. The other thing, they're actually framed out in wood. If you take a look right there, most manufacturers just slap on a piece of plastic trim, it slides and falls off. Not the case here, Winnebago uses wood. And I'm telling you, some of the best doors in the industry, a lot of manufacturers could learn a lot of things about the doors they install. Now as we come into the bathroom, right down here is your toilet. As you can see, plenty of room. And especially in a teardrop shape like this, you have a ton of room in this bathroom. Then right above the toilet behind me, Take a look at that extra storage. Great storage in there. You have the shelf up top here. Very large for a linen closet. Hanging rod right there. So you know you can put towels up top. Then right here you can put some clothes. And it's big enough. You have plenty of room to go ahead and change in here too. Large countertop. So great countertop space. Your sink there of course. Electrical outlet right here underneath. And then some additional storage there under the sink. 
Over in the corner here is a neo angle shower. Now it's not huge, but it is sufficient. You know, you do have plenty of room uh, as far as height. I'm about six foot tall. You see, you know, if you're too much taller, it might be a little bit of struggle. It might have to bend a little. But again, this is a teardrop. You don't see, you know, a bathroom this size in a teardrop. Shower curtain going right along and a hand wand there makes things a little more manageable in what would be a little bit of a tighter space. So, um, you know, this is a great floor plan, folks. As I mentioned, this is the 2017 Winnebago Winnie Drop 170S. If you're looking for something that's lighter weight, easily towable by your smaller SUV, you know, you have the family vehicle, you don't want to have to go buy a big truck, this is a great option. Uh, weighing it in at just over 2,800 pounds and you have the slide here, uh, you know, you have the, the beautiful sidewalls, the well-built uh, cabinetry on the doors. This is one you don't want to miss. Um, if you are interested in this unit and you're looking for price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this tour, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page. That way you'll be one of the first to see all the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.